Hey guys, Brian at Victory 4x4. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install our bed stiffeners. First, I wanna talk about why you need them. If you're running a rooftop tent or a rack with a bunch of gear, what you're gonna learn over time is that stress going down on these bed rails is not what this truck was designed to do. And on top of that, this is the only metal part of this bed. The rest of it is plastic. So what happens over time, the force of all that weight up and down is actually gonna force the bed rails to fry apart. Then after a while, your tailgate's gonna to start to have a gap. It's not gonna to wanna to latch correctly and then you're gonna have a broken bed. So the best thing to do to counteract that is to install a good strong foundation with some bed stiffeners. And as you can see here, that's our stiffener. So now I'm gonna show you how to install it. All right, so when you open your package, you're gonna have two brackets. You're gonna have a left side and a right side. You're also going to have a hardware kit. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out which is your right and which is your left, and that's gonna be based on this bent bracket angle right here. It's gonna be facing towards the front of the truck. So this is the driver's side and that is the passenger side. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started installing this driver's side bed stiffener. So first we're gonna use a T55 Torx and we're gonna take this body mount out. Okay, next we're gonna use a T30, and we're gonna take off this little D-ring guy right here. Okay, like that, we're gonna set this off to the side, body mount off to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna take the tail light out Using a 10 millimeter, we're gonna take out this top bolt and this bottom bolt. Now you're gonna see the tail light's gonna come off kind of like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull backwards. So there's these two clips right here and here that go in. So when you're taking the tail light out, you're pulling backwards. So we're gonna go ahead and set this kind of out of the way. Now we're gonna set the stiffener up into place here. I'm gonna thread this body mount back in just to kind of locate it. Like so. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be marking and drilling these holes right here. So you're gonna kinda, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's square. So I'm just gonna kinda of look down the side here and make sure that I have an even gap all the way down. And we'll go ahead and mark these holes. If you're not comfortable just kind of visually looking to see if you're straight, you can use a tape measure and measure different points. But I'm pretty confident in where I'm at, so I'm gonna go ahead and send it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this body mount back out. And next we're gonna drill these three holes. Okay, so I'm gonna use this smaller pilot bit first and then I'm gonna use a stepper bit. If you don't have a stepper bit, the bolt size is 7 16 so you're gonna to wanna to be able to have a drill bit up to 7 16 And I'm gonna go ahead and drill these three holes. Okay, so I'm gonna paint these three here and then I'm gonna get a shop vac and clean up the drill shavings. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set this into place. First, we're gonna put this body mount in, get that guy started. Okay, going through our hardware, we have 7 16 bolts. We're gonna go 7 16 bolt and a washer and then a flange nut. And we're using a serrated flange nut and what that does is it's actually gonna bite in so you don't need a washer on the back side. And also a lot of times you can just kind of hold these finger tight while you tighten the outside and then eventually this will grip and you can tighten it down without using a wrench on the other side. So I'm gonna put the bottom one in first here. Bolt, washer, flange nut. Okay, so with those all loosely installed, we're gonna go ahead and put this back in. But as you're gonna notice, we got all this mechanism and doesn't fit. So we're gonna take this little plastic clip off the bottom here, and you can do it by just screwing it off like this. And we're gonna go ahead and take all of this stuff off. So now what's gonna happen is this thing's gonna go down in the hole and it's gonna sit on this flange. It's still gonna allow this thing to swivel. So it'll still swivel once we tighten it up. Okay, so now we can tighten stuff up. 
T30 Torx on this one here. T55 Torx. 5.8 socket. Now you go ahead and put your tail light back in. And now we're done, that easy. Now that I have them installed, I wanna talk about some of the compatibility with other things. If you're running like um, a Dometic cooler with a slide, it's going to clear. If you're running the deck system, with the rollout drawers, they're also gonna clear. Now, if you're running those like swinging boxes on the side, they're gonna interfere. So you're gonna have to shim out your boxes or pick one or the other. But now that you've seen them installed, um, go install them or buy them if you haven't done that. You can go on our website at www.victory4x4.com. You can give us a call, 269-353-1184 or shoot us an email, info at victory4x4.com. Hope to see you guys on the trail.